as we have completed two episodes of the living word biology podcast and cit podcast and welcome all of you here so today we are going to start about taxonomical aids 1.4 of the chapter first living world ncert 11 so let's start it 1.4 taxonomical aids taxonomic studies of various species of plants animals and other organisms are useful in agriculture forestry industry and in general in knowing our bioresources and their diversity these studies would require correct classification and identification of organisms identification of organisms requires intensive laboratory and field study this line is so important and asked to many times identification of organisms requires intensive laboratory and field studies the collection of actual specimens of plant and animal species is essential and is the prime source of taxonomic study this line is too important the collection collection of actual specimens of plant and animal species is essential and is the prime source of taxonomical study these are also fundamental to studies and essential for training in systematics it is used for classification of an organism and the information gathered is also stored along with the specimens in some cases the specimen is preserved for future studies biologists have established certain procedures and techniques to store and preserve the information as well as the specimens some of these are explained to help you understand the usage of these aids herbarium 1.4.1 herbarium herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimens that are dried pressed and preserved what they are did dried pressed and preserved on sheets further these sheets are arranged according to a universally accepted system of classification universally accepted system this specimens along with their descriptions on herbarium sheets become a storehouse or repository repository for future use the herbarium sheets also carry a label providing information about date and place of collection date and place of collection english local and botanical names family collector's name etc herbaria also serve as quick referral system quick referral systems in taxonomical studies botanical gardens 1.4.2 botanical gardens these specialized gardens have collections of living plants for reference living plants for reference for reference for reference for reference plant species in these gardens are grown for identification purposes and each plant is labeled indicating its botanical or scientific name and its family the famous botanical gardens are at kew england important it's all important and question will come from this part only which are the famous botanical gardens match the column yes kew england indian botanical garden howra inda india and at national botanical research institute lucknow india national botanical research institute lucknow india that is nbri lucknow india museum 1.4.3 museum biological museums are generally set up in educational institutes such as schools and colleges museums have collections of preserved plant and animal species plant and animal species specimens are preserved in the containers or jars in preservative solution preservative solutions plant and animal species may also be preserved as dry specimen insects are preserved in insect boxes after co- insect boxes after collecting killing and pinning important like collecting kill and then pin larger animals like birds and mammals are usually stuffed stuffed and preserved museums often have collection of skeletons of animals too 1.4.4 zoological parks these are the places where wild animals which animal not the domestic animals wild animals are kept in protected environments under human care and which are enable us to learn about their food habitats food habits and behavior all animals in 
a zoo are provided as far as possible the conditions similar to their natural habitats. Children love visiting these parks commonly called as zoos. One point four point five key. Key is another taxonomical aid used for identification of plants and animals both based on the similarities and dissimilarities. The keys are based on the contrasting characters generally in a pair called couplet. What is that? Couplet. It represents the choice made between two opposite options. This results in acceptance of only one and rejection of the other. Its statement in the key is called a lead. Statement in the key is called a lead. Separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category, such as separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category, such as family, genus, and species for identification purposes. Keys are generally analytical in nature. This all is given about indented keys. Yes, keys are generally this is most asked. Keys are generally analytical in nature. Now comes the last part that is flora, manuals, monographs, and catalogs are some other means of recording descriptions. They also help in correct identification. Flora contains the actual account of habitat, actual account of habitat, and distribution of plants. Plants. Flora means plants. Actual account of habitat of a given area. This provides the index to the plant species found in a particular area. Flora is all about area, particular area, given area, and about plants. That's done. Now next comes the manuals. Manuals are used in providing information for identification of names of species found in names of species found in area in a given area. Names of species found in an area. Manuals. Now last come the monographs. Most ask is monographs. Monographs contain information on any one taxon. Any one taxon. Important is any one taxon. Monographs contain information on any one taxon. Then flora means plants and in a given area. Manuals in an area, but names of species. Identification of names of species and all these flora manuals are for identification purpose. That's simple. That's so easy. Now comes the summary. Summary is also important. The living world is rich in variety. Millions of plants and animals have been identified and described, but large number still remains unknown. The very range of organisms in terms of size, color, habitat, physiological, and morphological features make a six the defining characteristic of living organism. In order to facilitate the study of kinds and diversity of organisms, biologists have evolved certain rules and principles for identification, nomenclature, and classification of organisms. The branch of knowledge dealing with these aspects is referred to as taxonomy. The taxonomic studies of various species of plants and animals are useful in agriculture, forestry, industry, and in general for knowing our biorecesses and their diversity. The basics of taxonomy like identification, naming, and classification of organisms are universally evolved under international codes based on the resemblance and distinct differences each organism is identified and assigned as a correct scientific or biological name comprising two words as per the binomial system of nomenclature an organism represent occupies a place or position in the system of classification there are many categories or ranks and are generally referred to as taxonomic categories or taxa all the categories constitute a taxonomic hierarchy Taxonomists have developed a variety of taxonomic aids to facilitate identification, naming, and classification of organisms. These studies are carried out from the actual specimens which are collected from the field and preserved as referrals in the form of herbaria. Museums and in botanical gardens and zoological parks. It requires special techniques for collection and preservation of specimens in herbaria and museums. Live specimens, on the other hand, of plants and animals are found in botanical gardens or in zoological parks. Taxonomists also prepare and disseminate information through manuals and monographs for further taxonomic studies. Taxonomic keys are tools that help in identification based on characteristics. Now, here in questions, exercises, the important one is this seventh one. Then next one is important is this 
illustrate the taxonomic area with suitable examples of plant and animal these two questions are too important try to collect all the correctly accepted names of the word species yes the species definition was given by ernst mayer ernst mayer yes discuss with your teacher the meaning of species in case of higher plants and name on one hand and bacteria on the other hand okay fine so today we will sign off now in next we will get about chapter second i will make the series of living world of important lines only only important lines in one lecture in one video yes it will be of only just 15 to 20 minutes and you will listen it daily then you will get to it's it's for the revision purpose yes revision revision series i will launch revision revision series too for today signing off thanks